Um, hi, we're the Cribs for NME.com. I think it's fair to describe the record as a poppy record. I mean, we don't see that in any way being like a dirty word or anything, because we specifically, when we, um, you know, we had three years off after making the last record, which I feel was like a pretty abrasive record. And in that time, uh, you know, because we had quite a bit of time off this time, we actually had time to um, decide what kind of record we wanted to make. And we wrote like a bunch of songs, you know, we wrote like 18 songs over the last three years. And we decided that we really wanted to um, uh, concentrate on kind of the melodic side of the band and make sure the songs were as hooky as possible because th that is a side of the you know that this band does have you know we definitely have like a strong um, you know affection for for pop music and hooks so we just we just set out to make something that was like you know we just set out to make something that was popular somehow just to not shy away from that side of the band so I think it's a fair assessment and I don't see that being anything that you know we see as being like to its detriment at all. Because punk, punk rock and indie's dead, you know. So, you know, how are we going to make money anymore? You know, we have mm. to, you know, we have to be able to live. Mm. Like the uh, the uh, private jets that pay for themselves. And plus, we're on a major label as well. And they said, "Listen, guys, you got to, you know, this got to be... cut that punk rock nonsense out. Yeah. You, you know." You're not kids anymore, it's time to take this thing seriously. We need results, it's all about results this time, it's all about shifting units, so that's totally the mindset that we went into making. So we really record. knuckled down. Uh, the, the pop music that we listen to is pretty much, uh, you know, exclusively 80s pop music. It's just really, I was really into Toy Soldiers by MRT Press. I don't think it's like the best song I've ever heard. Like if I'm if I'm honest, I mean it didn't define my personality as much as you know the music I listened to in my teenage years, like uh, you know grunge and stuff like that. Like, but I think that it, I always thought it was the best song I'd heard, and I never really knew what it was. It just used to come to me at weird times, like. Um, it was weird. I always knew what it was. Yeah, which I, but I never asked because I was embarrassed. You see, um, but there was a. It came to me at weird times in my life. I remember. The night that we finished the first album, the debut record, Mark from Wichita bought us a bottle of uh, Jameson and uh, we drank this bottle of Jameson in the studio to celebrate the end of the first record and then we went back to the hotel, we were staying at the jury's in an Angel and it was on in the bar and I was, I was really drunk and I just finished this record, I was pretty emotional, I was like, oh that's that song that reminds me of being a kid and I still didn't know what it was. But there's no gated snares on the record and there's still loads of like heavy guitars and stuff. So. <laughs>